These men, women, and children, moms, dads, brothers, sisters, and friends, all share a common bond. They come to the historic house with the signature red door because they, or someone they love, is touched by cancer. They come in search of comfort, support, and understanding. They come to Gilda's Club so they don't have to face cancer alone. Well, I developed lung and brain cancer. I felt I needed something. I needed people to connect with who were experiencing similar things that I was, and, and I needed to experience that empathy, that, that togetherness. Audrey has been out of treatment for 12 months now with no signs of active cancer, but she remains realistic and continues to count on Gilda's Club to help maintain her positive attitude. It's not saying it's not going to come back, but every day there's something, there's something new to be discovered, more insight to be gathered, more people to meet and share with, and this has been invaluable. Named in honor of famed comedian Gilda Radner, who died of ovarian cancer back in 1989, Gilda's Club provides more than 60 support groups, workshops, lectures, and social activities every month. Membership is free and open to anyone touched by cancer. The first thing that we do isn't actually something that we personally do, but it's something that happens when you walk through the red doors, and that is a feeling of relief that, that, that someone has actually found the place where they can get the support and the emotional care that they need when they are entering that cancer journey. Bill Barron certainly understands the toll cancer can take. He lost both his wife and his mother to the disease. He attends the men's support group regularly. When I started to attend the men's group, I found a sanctuary, so to speak, a place of peace that I hadn't found anywhere else. Gilda's Club gave me direction. It gave me a chance to share with others. In addition to the men's group, members can benefit from wellness, family, networking, post-treatment, and bereavement groups. All of the groups give members a chance to share and gain valuable insight. Members and their loved ones can also attend workshops and lectures that include physicians talking about the latest advances in treatment options, healthcare professionals who discuss disability and insurance issues, while others lead therapeutic workshops in yoga, art, meditation, stress reduction, and cooking. But it's not all serious business at Gilda's Club. Parties, potluck suppers, game and movie nights are just a few of the social activities that bring a healthy dose of laughter, smiles, and camaraderie to the group, something doctors believe is just as important as a person's medical treatment. This is also proven in, in clinical trials that support groups are extremely important for patients and, and they help with management of symptoms, coping with the disease, they improve quality of life. Leslie Packer has lung cancer. Each week she comes to Gilda's Club to share her experiences and her knowledge so that she might help others who are battling the same disease. It's easier to have a journey with people that have gone through it than to go through it by yourself. Positive energy and a good sense of humor have helped Leslie cope. Even a recent run-in with a tree doesn't get her down. And you can laugh at yourself. I mean, so, so I, a branch fell on my face. I'm here because, well, I want to play. And my favorite color is pink. Living with a cancer diagnosis is difficult for anyone, but the impact on children is profound. Whether it's the child, a parent, or a sibling, the need for extra love and support during this difficult time is vital. Recognizing the special needs of children touched by cancer, Gilda's Club founded Noogie Land, a place where children and teens can interact with other kids who are going through the same experiences. Hi, my name is CJ. My favorite color is green, and my favorite thing to do is play sports. Nestled in the unique basement area of the house, Noogie Land provides healthy ways for kids to express their emotions through art and play, while at the same time receiving the support they need. 
Don George found Gilda's Club after her 11-year-old son CJ was diagnosed with lymphoblastic lymphoma back in 2008. Now CJ and his brothers and sister come to Noogie Land regularly. I think being here has helped CJ specifically with realizing that he's not the only child going through this. Obviously at the hospital he sees other kids, but it's a different setting. Here you're more relaxed, you're more doing normal things you would do, having pizza, hanging out, doing crafts, and the family next to you is going through the same thing you're going through. So he doesn't feel so different as he might around his regular friends where they're not experiencing this. Yeah, I think it's helped a lot. Dawn said talking with other parents and hearing their stories has helped her and her husband with their own struggles and fears, as well as provide inspiration and hope. But for CJ, it's all about having fun. I come here to have fun because it's such a fun place to come. We can play video games, we can play with toys. I like the food and we like doing crafts too. I am just here to let people understand you can survive and you can live. And there is life after cancer. But it's hard work. It comes the sun. If you or someone you love has been touched by cancer, you are not alone. The Gilda's Club network of professionals, volunteers, and members are here for you, ready to provide support, courage, love, compassion, understanding, and hope. Here comes the sun.